guys on my channel. I hope that you guys are doing well, you guys are being safe, and you are doing okay. I know this has been a very weird month. A lot of things are going on. We're in the middle of a pandemic, a lot of social injustice we've been experiencing. Um, and so I really just wanted to come on my channel and kind of make something that was a little uplifting, just something a bit more focused on the body and taking care of yourself, health and wellness, because that's usually what I like to focus on when I'm a little bit stressed from things going on in the world. So I feel like this is a great time for me to do another VTalk video. I haven't done a VTalk in a while. This VTalk series is one of the most popular series on my channel. And I continue to do them because a lot of people just continue to thank me for making videos that are about really awkward topics, but yet, very normal and very like important topics surrounding your vagina and being a woman and so I'm trying to make it more common for girls to talk openly about their period their cycle their vagina body hair all that kind of stuff um that's just gonna be the theme of the year we're uncomfortable so let's go ahead and talk about more uncomfortable things shall we this video is going to be about a reusable menstrual cup before we even get into the specifics okay I've already talked about menstrual cups before so if you guys want to know more about menstrual cups in general I do have a video where I initially tried another brand of menstrual cup well two brands of menstrual cups to kind of compare them and see which one I liked better a lot of you guys were telling me that I need to try some that are more sustainable because not only is it better for the environment but because we are in the middle of like a global pandemic and it is a little bit tougher to I mean stores are starting to open up and stuff but it's a little bit tougher to get out of the house and go shopping like you used to so I feel like this would be a great way to make sure that you don't have to go and do that this is an alternative for those of you who are into more sustainable products and you don't want to continue throwing away cups and wasting product and money and things like that okay this is the um, Nix it and I found Nix it. somebody I don't even remember I think on my original soft cup video somebody mentioned that I should try the Nix it started using this product uh, over a year ago and I reached out to the company to get some more information about it so that I could share with you guys as a VTalk I just never got around to doing it but I have been using it ever since then I do want to give you guys some pros and cons about using this cup how to use it how to insert it some tips on how to make it easier for you but it's it's not for I know it's not for everyone I know some people are just not into sticking things in their vagina and pulling them out I, I understand but if you're interested intrigued or want an alternative to the throw awayable menstrual cups I got you okay first of all this packaging is really cute it comes in a cute little box you can choose what color box you want just in case you wanted to keep the box and you know store it nice and cute or whatever it's made of 100% medical grade silicone so it is not going to hold bacteria like plastic would so when you reuse it it's not going to cause any like infections or anything like that it's good for your body it says nix worry nix plastic nix strings leaks stigmas nix it period so this nix it cup it, the box comes with instructions that just fell out <laughs> um this is what it looks like on the inside so it's like a pink medical grade cup and this is what it looks like i am unboxing this for the first time this is a brand new one i have my own but i didn't want to show y'all the one that i actually put in my body because that's kind of weird i don't know why it would be weird but i reuse it it's like been in my in my vagina so i kind of don't want to show y'all that one they sent me one just to like use for demonstrational purposes so medical grade silicone and it's just a little round cup that goes in your body so as you can see this is how big it is up close to me it's really not that big it looks bigger and scarier than it is I promise you there is a little carrying case that you can use you can put this in your purse I always keep my Nixit cup with me even if my period isn't coming up I just keep it with me just in case child you never know when you get that feeling sometimes your period throws you off and comes earlier or later so I just try to keep it with me at all times it's not super hard or super like rigidy it's very smooth it's very flexible so it does go into your body and sit in there very comfortably it feels like the inside of your vagina basically so uh, it's very comfortable to wear the little instructional booklet that you get it has nice visuals on here so it has all the tips and tricks you need to insert it so you will um, first boil it in hot water wash your hands pinch, pinch the sides like the diagram is showing get in a squat position over the toilet and you're going to insert it 
into your vagina. And so you're gonna squeeze it, pinch it in the middle. Your vagina is like maybe this long, maybe that long, maybe, probably a little shorter. And it's gonna sit right here in front of your cervix and that is where it's gonna catch all the menses. Your pelvic bone is like right here. It's gonna sit behind your pelvic bone. So when you slide it in, I'm trying to describe this in a way y'all can see it. I need a like actual vagina. <laughs> you're gonna slide it in here and then you're gonna push this upward so that it sits right behind your pelvic bone, nice and snug. It does not suction to your body, so it's not hard to get out. Uh, it sounds harder than it is, I promise. But if you've done this before with the soft cup, you're, you're probably more advanced and know how to get in there. There's a little diagram so y'all can see what I was saying. You're gonna slide it back and you're going to situate it behind the pelvic bone. And then when you stand up, you can keep your finger on the rim to check to make sure that it stayed tucked and in place. Now, a lot of people have told me that with the cup that I was talking about before, they had issues with it leaking and stuff. That's how you make sure that it's not gonna leak. You have to like make sure that it's pushed up in there. You can feel it with your finger. It doesn't go back that far to where you can't feel it. You are still gonna be able to feel it with your finger if you stand up. To remove, bear down and untuck the front rim down and away from your pubic bone. Kind of like untuck it from behind, pull it down and then slide it out, keeping it level so you don't spill anything. My suggestion to you would be, insert it when you're on the toilet, you're fine. But, you know, let's say you put it in at 8 a.m. You have until 8 p.m. to take it out. So if you're gonna be gone all day for work, put it in before you go to work, after work, you go home, take a shower, wash off the day, and take it out in the shower. That's what I would recommend. I typically take mine out in the shower. You shouldn't have to take it out in public. You should never have to take it out in public. That's just me. I've never taken out my cup in public. And I use, like I said, I've used this for about a year and a half now. Taking it out in the shower is the easiest. That way you're standing up, you can put your leg up on the wall, put your leg up on the wall, you know, and you can just grab in there and pull it out. It's not that far back to where you can't reach it. Don't freak out. It's supposed to fit all body types. I'm a small gal, okay? I don't consider myself to have a large body. I have a small frame and it fits me perfectly and it does not feel bad at all. It does not irritate me at all and it doesn't spill or leak. It has 12 hour protection. So it has four super tampons worth of flow that it can hold in there two times more than the traditional cup. The other cups don't have as much girth. I feel like this can hold more than what I normally have been able to hold. It seems like there's so much more period that comes out than what really comes out. It isn't going to overflow every five minutes, if that makes sense. You may find yourself that you need to empty it out maybe like every eight hours or so, every six hours if you have a really, really heavy flow, but you really don't have to do all of that. And let me tell you why, because when you go to the bathroom, if you're like me and you get period poop, basically that, <laughs> what I mean by that is I have to poop a lot when, I, when I'm on my period. If you don't poop twice a day, you're not drinking enough water, you're not eating good. So you need to make sure that you are pooping and drinking enough water. If you do go to the bathroom often, which you should, you will want to kind of like empty it out a little bit. I don't feel like it's gonna overflow, but I do those check-ins where I go to the bathroom and I, you know, squeeze a little bit out. So even if I do feel like it's, I have a heavy period that day, it's not going to fill the whole cup up because I'm releasing some every now and then. So if you go to the bathroom and you can kind of squat down and you like bear down like you're going to go poop. Like I said, the bear down releases that pelvic bone so that the cup kind of pushes down a bit. While you're like peeing or something, you are gonna see some spillage come out from the cup. That is the cup kind of emptying itself. So you can do that periodically throughout the day so that your cup is not overflowing. Go to the bathroom every three to four hours uh, and you know, just squeeze and let them out. I'm gonna give you guys a few more tips if you do feel uncomfortable, I would say try this uh, on a lighter day. Try it maybe like at the very beginning or the very end of your period just to see how you like it. Or a day where you know you're gonna be at home and I feel like because we are in a pandemic, this is the perfect time to try it because you're at home most of the time so you don't have to worry about having accidents when you leave the house. Wear a panty liner just to make sure that, you know, if there are any issues, you catch them in the panty liner and not your clothes. Some people like to wear panty liners anyway, even when they do have in like a tampon or a cup, just cause it gives you that extra layer of security. Uh, so go ahead and try that. You're gonna have to relax, okay? I know this is like a weird concept for people who have never used it before, but I promise you, the reason why it's so hard to get it in and out of your body is because you're tense, okay?
okay? You need to take a chill pill, chill out, breathe, stop tensing up because the more tense you are, the tighter your walls will be and it'll be harder for you to get it in and out. So you have to relax. Just practice doing that anyway. Just practice with me right now. Just breathe in, breathe out. Now that you're calm, you're relaxed. Now you can insert. Squat over the toilet, maybe put your toes up. If you have one of those stools, I wanna get one of those stools. Have you ever seen those? Like when you're like pooping, you can put your feet on a stool, it keeps your knees elevated, it helps you poop better. You should get one of those to put this cup in. But you need your like knees to be kind of elevated so that you can insert it properly. One of the questions that I often get with this cup situation is, is it nasty, is it bloody murder? Like, isn't it gross putting your fingers in there, getting your hands dirty? I mean, it's your body. If you are squeamish, like I said, you might wanna get in the shower or get some gloves and use that to insert. And if you want to use that to remove as well, use that to remove. So just make sure when you take it out, you get it to a sink or in the shower, rinse it off in the shower, rinse it off as soon as possible so that you don't have to see all your blood in it. I can wash my hands after, we're washing our hands anyway to be safe, so just continue to wash your hands for 20 seconds. Sing a song, sis, you'll be fine. Just for peace of mind, it's not gonna go farther than it needs to, trust me. It cannot go all the way up in your body, that is not how your body works. If you know the anatomy of how your vagina, your uterus, your cervix, all of that is, you cannot go past the cervix, it just won't happen. So it's not gonna go up in there, I promise you. If you feel like it's not going in good, if your body is not wet enough, you should be because you're on your period and your walls do get softer and lubricated. But if it's not and you wanted to still, you know, try to get it in, you can use a water-based lubricant. But like I said, if you do try putting it in, in the shower or taking it out in the shower, the water will help just moisten up that area anyways. Like I said, the shower is your friend put it in and take it out in the shower. When I take it out in the shower and rinse it off, clean it off, I do just go ahead and insert it back into my body and wear it the full period. My period only lasts for about four or five days. Um, so I do wear it the entire period. If you feel like you wanna clean it in between those four to five days or however long your cycle lasts, if you do feel like you wanna clean it, you can, you can boil it and then just insert it back in, but you really don't have to, I don't believe. Just remember to take it out after 12 hours. You can never leave it in longer than 12 hours, guys. You just, in between your cycles, you're going to be sterilizing it. Right after my cycle ends and I take it out, I clean it off and I boil it in hot water, put it back in its little carrying case, bump de dump it's ready for the next cycle. If I see some spotting and it's like, oh, it's time, I do boil it again just for safe measure. I sterilize it before I insert it. These cups are so good at mess-free experiences. So like if you're an athlete or if you like to go swimming a lot, if you are out and about a lot and you don't have time to change your pad or tampon every six hours or so, you want that type of security. This is gonna be for you. Um, also, if you do have sex on your period, I'm not condoning it, nor am I shaming anyone for doing it. That is your business. This does work to give you a mess-free sexual experience while you're on your period. Literally, I have no leaks or any issues afterwards. Like, that's with some vigorous activity. If you don't wanna do that, that's fine. I understand, I understand, sis. Sometimes you just don't feel like being touched. I get it. But sometimes, there are needs. If you have needs, this cup will work. Just know that it is not a contraceptive. It works during sex, but it is not a contraceptive. So you wanna be safe still um, if you are trying to prevent, but just know it's gonna give you a mess-free experience. Uh, I've noticed that this one, this cup in particular, because of the silicone, um, medical grade silicone, it feels more like my body. So it's not as alarming or like, whoa, what's going on, what's in there? You know what I'm saying? The plastic cups that I've used, I've tried those before and it was like a, Oh, whoa, what's that? <laughs> also, I've, I'm sure somebody's gonna ask, do, can virgins use this product? Um, if you are a virgin and you're not familiar with your body, I would not suggest starting off with this. But if you are, you can use it. It's not gonna like break your hymen or anything. And if it does, your hymen can break by so many different things. You can 
break your hymen riding a bicycle. It's not the only factor that determines your virginity, okay? So if you feel like using this cup is gonna break your virginity, it's not. If you find that things like this are a little bit intimidating, you don't have to do it, trust me. This, there's so many other things you can do to uh, catch your menses. I highly recommend it. I like this better than the disposables. I do keep disposable cups on me just in case. I don't have this near me for whatever reason, but I do typically always keep this around. It costs $49 and you guys can click the link in my description box if you guys wanna check it out. Now I know $50 sounds like a lot for a cup. I'm pretty sure that's how much the other cups that are reusable costs, so I don't think that's like a crazy high price point. But just think about all the money you will be saving when you get one of these. It should last you at least a couple years. If you notice any tears or holes in it, you should definitely replace it. But think of this, you know, as saving you money as opposed to spending hundreds of dollars on pads, tampons, and the like. Uh, throughout the year. So that is pretty much all I have to say about the Nixa cup, you guys. I was super like gung-ho about cups when I first heard about them. Like I tried it and I was like, whoa, this is a game changer. You know, I just feel a lot more clean, a lot more free. I can, you know, go pantyless when I go to sleep. I don't have to wear a pad or anything at night. It does work at nighttime. Um, I can go swimming in it and don't have any issues with that. Get down and dirty with it in and it doesn't have any problems with that either so uh it's sustainable it keeps the environment happy and it keeps your body happy this is the third video i made about menstrual cups so i feel like if y'all don't get it by now then i don't know what to tell you like sis jump on the bandwagon you know you want to if you guys do end up trying out nixit please send me messages i love when you guys interact with me about these videos it makes me feel like i'm doing something to help you guys you know nobody talks about this kind of stuff so i just feel like this is the perfect place to do it if you have questions ask me in the comments I will try to answer them to the best of my ability if not I'll hit up Nixit and ask them for their advice and tell you guys but obviously I can help you out because I've been using the product for over a year and a half and I know my stuff okay I'm pretty well versed in this cup game all right that is all I hope that you guys enjoyed this video like I said I hope you're being safe I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves take mental breaks from the social media if you need to take care of your body you should find things that bring you joy and if taking care of your body brings you joy, then I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you some encouragement. And if you guys have suggestions for more B Talk videos, please let me know. Let me know what y'all wanna see and I'll talk to y'all soon.